Hey everyone, Sam McKay here from Enterprise DNA. I just want to do a really quick uh, wrap up of Power BI Challenge 7 because it was one of our best and just had some inspirational uh, submissions uh, around the the data, the brief of the of the challenge. And so, just want to highlight those. Want to shout out to those who got involved. Uh, just make you aware of the amazing learning opportunity that you can have from just reviewing these. Um, and not only can you uh, participate, but you can also just review what is being done here, right? And it's about building up a comprehensive, uh, critical thinking tool, tool set uh, for you to take away into uh, whatever data scenario that you might be working with, right? Uh, and so there's just, you know, where, where every challenge is a different uh, scenario. And so, you know, if you've got something similar to it or something that in, in some way relates to what the, the challenge is about, you can learn lots about the data model, the logic that's built into your models, ways that you can visualize it, so on and so forth. Even with that, though, you can you can transfer a lot of things from uh, one reporting application over some scenario to to another there's nothing stopping you from doing that as well so i just want to just quickly go through the thread here you can review this thread i'll make sure the link is placed around around the video so that you can come back here and review it in time um, but this particular challenge was all about purchases inventory and sales so so kind of like procurement information it was really focused on procurement and how you could analyze information that you were um, you know that you might be dealing with in that in that sort of area within a business. Uh, you might be you know with procurement you're working on uh, pricing, making sure your you've got your stock your inventory stock right, uh, and also managing that versus your out outgoings you know your revenue yeah, your your sales and so on and so forth. So the brief was the um, I'll just go down to the main the main things uh, we were looking at here. There's three data sets, purchases. This data shows us the date that our business raised a purchase order for a particular product. So when we actually purchase something, when we actually received the product, so when the company took stock of the materials, i.e. owned the product and it was arrived in the warehouse and then billing. This is the transactional data of what we sold to the customer, right? So procurement has to, in a lot of cases, marry all of these very, uh, this all of these elements together to, to make sure that enough stock is on um, w within a warehouse to make sure you can fulfill orders. This isn't, you know, if this is done well, it can make a huge difference to a business. If it's done poorly and you don't have the right data, you know, you, you know what it's like. You, you go into stores and you, you can't find what you want, right? Or or you buy something online and you get to check out and they can't deliver it to you. So, you know, this is all, 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 the, all that sort of great analysis can be, could be related to this scenario. Okay, and what was interesting about this particular challenge is we challenged uh, those who participated to only create one single page. Okay, so you didn't have this flexibility of uh, showing your analysis over multiple pages. You only had one page to do this, right? And there was three things to show. Show uh, from us place so analyzing from us placing a purchase order. What was the time elapsed before we received the goods into our warehouse? From us receiving goods, what was the time elapsed before we are billing for the goods and analyze the billing? Okay, so that was the challenge, and um, and as you'll see down here, we had a lot of participation. A lot of people are getting involved. I honestly want more people to be involved. I want to get more people involved uh, in these challenges, right? So if you're listening to this and you want to test yourself out, you want to learn um, about uh, you know quality Power BI development, there's nothing better than getting involved in these, okay? You'll see here that we've also got links to a range of different uh, Power BI models that you can you know, have a look at as well. So if I quickly go down, I want to just touch upon what I sort of see as, as some of the better ones. Um, the uh, Brian, one of our enterprise DNA experts, actually took this out with an incredible design. So I want to show you. Um, M um, Madassa here um, also had a, created an amazing design. Um, you know, that, you know, works with you know, lots of things I like in this. Grids, the grids, the colors, the backgrounds, the filtering, the highlighting of KPIs. There's also a range of different tool tips embedded into here. Um, dynamic text, I mean, the dynamic grouping analysis down here. So amazing work on this one. Um, and so, you know, you can learn all about this by just like reviewing this thread, right? And you can have a play around with the models. 
Um, this was one that I did. This was just me um, kicking it off. I think I have a more comprehensive review down the bottom. So this is one that I do want to dive into, and I'm I'm really hoping that Brian actually, because he uh, Brian is a contributor, right, uh, to the channel. You've, you've, I'm sure you're aware. You you you've heard of him, heard of him many times. You've seen him um, get involved in the forum as well. So he produced an amazing report, and I just want to show you one visualization, which I'm hoping he'll create a video on as well. Um, down here check out this visualization down here this timeline visualization so what we can do here um i just want to see if i can expand it yeah, okay so it's this it does the the actual um the actual visual itself doesn't expand but what you can do here is this basically remember the data here was totally random so some of this you know doesn't completely make sense based on the randomness of the data but just the ability to show how a purchase order moves through the system right and so this, this is i mean this is an amazing visual i mean one of the best visuals i've ever seen in power bi to represent data in such a compelling way right we've got um you've got images showing like this is i believe if we have a look so you see here that it matches, it also matches out to this particular tooltip that has been included in the report as well, where you've got, um, you know, you're, you're, you're seeing it visually here, but then you're seeing it in a table where you've got the first, it was ordered on this date, and then it was received, 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 then build, received, built. And so it's just representing what is in this visualization. And so if we actually change the purchase order to another one, you'll see that this actually all changes. And so it's a totally dynamic way to look at how an order progresses, a purchase order progresses. I mean, pretty phenomenal, right? And so lots of other great elements in here. I, I, I just can't do it justice in this um, period, time period. I want to sh um, highlight the, the challenge on this video, um, but watch out for a future video from Brian on exactly how he did that, because there's a lot of good elements in this particular report a lot because you've got to remember that the one a, a big part of the challenge was to actually get everything into one page so you had to be really inventive around how you actually did a lot of these things right um and you'll see here that there's there's other um there's other tool tips embedded into into a range of diff, uh, a range of things here okay so i'll just scroll down i'll quickly go a few others like there's been so much improvement i've been seeing as well right and that's the greatest thing that is the greatest thing that i'm seeing is the improvement from challenge to challenge some of some of not everyone's been participating in every single one but you know i'm seeing over time because i'm personally reviewing everyone's submissions i'm writing some feedback um to, to everyone so there's there's real benefits not only in just like learning by doing but also i'm, I'm going to provide I've, I've, I've did, I'm dedicating myself to provide, you know, really good uh, feedback on all of your designs so that you can improve. So it's kind of like personalized feedback, right? And we do it within the forum itself. So um, Greg Phelps did a another enterprise DNA expert, uh, created another, he's creating some amazing submissions as well. Um, great colors and um, great aspects to it. So you can actually have a play around with, with this one as well. Why don't we just I'll quickly um, go over this one as well and look at the detailed report that Greg has done here. I mean, it's absolutely crazy, absolutely crazy how much you can learn from just reading this. I mean, I learned from just reading this. Um, amazing, amazing stuff. Oh, just blows me away, blows me away how, how detailed that is. Um, Alex did another great one. Heidio has shown. I love this one. I love this and and this is this the this the best thing about this particular one is that Heidio has improved so much over over time. You know, there's there's just been massive improvement, right? And there's some really cool aspects to this particular report. I want to show you as well. Um, who should we go first? Okay, so this is this is Greg, and what uh, Greg actually did is he he. Um, he made it look like one page, but there is actually in, in Power BI Desktop multiple pages in here with a similar sort of setup. Um, but it still looks like one page, right? Just with some really interesting navigation. And I love the um, dynamic text. This is quite a quite a common thing that that uh, Greg actually does. But you'll see here as you change change filters, etc., um, you'll get different um, different different information in the uh, in the area up the top. In the text so i know the smart narrative feature has just been um pre-released uh, but this is also a way that you can do a similar sort of thing with some dynamic measures embedded in some text so i love that now in this one of this one of these last ones i want to show is um i love how this is broken up into three different sections it's, it's it, it to me looks really like a really really cool report right 
And what you can do here, and this is this is a cool feature. So embedded into these icons is um, can enable some uh, changes to the look of your report, right? So they've followed some of the um, tooltip ideas I think I've, you know, I've, I've showcased over time. And so what you can do, if you want to highlight within one page, say you've embedded something in here, you can click on that and you'll, you can see here by using um, bookmarks and the way you uh, show certain things at certain times, uh, or, or after certain selections with a bookmark, you can overlay different images or uh, different information in the same page, right? And all of this is dynamic too, okay? So the, this is dynamic, there's dynamic text, and it's just such a seamless experience if you think about it. Look, how, se how seamless is that? I mean, that, that to me, this to me is amazing. Like this, this is something that I look forward to implementing in a future report as well. Okay, so um, that is the that is all I want to show there. I mean, this goes on for a long time. Um, there's a lot of conversation, a lot of great ideas around you know data modeling, um, visualizations, etc. We also have the wrap up as well to review. So hopefully that I'll get this link placed around the video as well, and you can see Haroon, um, who's who's part of Enterprise DNA, has written a really detailed write up about um, and summarizing the best the best submissions, ones I've just sort of gone into and um yeah oh and, and then we just you know it's just really really collaborative um group who who have been you know really inspiring each other to to create great work so that's it that's that's all i want to say and um you know this is again this is this also is sort of just marketing the challenge right it's marketing how good the challenge is if you want to um also have a look just one last resource i'll show you on the knowledge base if you want to have a look at um historic ones if you want to just have a look at like a think what, what do we call it we call it the hall of fame the power bi challenge hall of fame if you want to have a look at um look at those you can come down into you can navigate to it through our knowledge base info at enterprisedna.co and go to the hall of fame and you'll see a breakdown of all of the different challenges who's won them um and you'll be able to see that some images of you know what they look like right okay so i'll round off there um, hopefully you um, you know got a lot out of this one. Really love talking about the challenge. I talk about it a lot now because it just has been producing so much great stuff. Uh, and you know it's 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 upon me and Enterprise DNA to make sure that everyone knows about it um, and knows about all the great work that's being done. Okay, all the very best, everyone. Take care. Throw the video a like if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe um, to our channel. Lots of great content coming out. If you're using Power BI in any way. You know you want to be you want to be seeing our videos um you know getting getting hold of these videos as soon as they come out because it's some really quality quality content that uh, myself and a lot of our experts now who are contributing to the channel um as well are producing okay all the very best take care